I'd like to just make some introductory remarks before we begin the actual uh, presentation of the three inductees, but I want to give a little bit of history about the athletic department and, and talk about the three together. Uh, Biola Intercollegiate Athletics began in 1960, and since that time, approximately 2,500 students have worn Eagle uniforms. Our athletes have earned All-American status 121 times, and many of them have competed professionally throughout the world. So when we sought to select our first three inductees, there was certainly plenty of competition. In choosing our inaugural Hall of Fame class, there were three criterion that we looked for. The first was that the person be a graduate of Biola. The second, that they exhibit strong Christian character both then and now. And then finally, of course, we wanted to find people that had had great success on the athletic field or court. So even though there were a number of real good candidates, when we actually came down to making the choices, it, it turned out to be a very easy process. Now, there'll be a time in the future where we'll, we'll have a committee and they'll have to sift through some things, but this year, these three candidates were just very obvious. And so, our first class is Wade Kirkmeyer from the men's basketball program, Becky White from the women's basketball program and volleyball program, and then Todd Worrell, who played in the baseball program. Those are our three inductees tonight. And because of who they are and all that they accomplished while they were here, they were very obvious choices. And I think that will become even more evident as we move through the night. In thinking this past week about our three inductees, uh, a number of distinctives and or commonalities came to mind. The first is that they have grown older. <laughs> this may seem too obvious, but I think it's worth reflecting upon. The senior year for Wade and Todd was 1982, and for Becky it was 1986. Ronald Reagan was president then. The Cold War was still the focus of world politics and gas cost about a dollar a gallon. <laughs> Here at Biola, the student population was much smaller and there were fewer buildings on the campus. Personal computers were still in the future and no one had a cell phone. The past is always innocent because we can control it. We, we know what happened. So when I saw college pictures of Wade, Becky, and Todd this past week, I felt a real sense of nostalgia for that time. It was enjoyable to think of them at the height of their athletic prowess and remember what great athletes they were. The second distinctive is that all three were great teammates. They cared more about the success of the team than their own individual accomplishments. And this was very obvious. I was uh, fortunate enough to work here during each of the years that all three of them competed. So I, I, I saw a number of their games, and uh, what, I just, what I just said was very, very obvious. To be a teammate in the best sense of the world, word is such a wonderful thing. There is really nothing better in sport. The great teammate raises the intensity and desire level of his team, not just through his ability, but even more by how much he or she cares and feels a deep loyalty to the whole group. All of this was very true of Becky, Wade, and Todd. Number three, they were tough. The coaches really appreciate this. No one achieves the kind of success they did without being a great competitor. And people who coached them or played with them would know that to be true today as much as they did 30 years ago. When you play with or coach a great competitor, you, you never forget. You always remember. I'm starting my 35th year at Biola, so sometimes a former player will pay a surprise visit. 
When I see them, my first impression goes back to when they were in college. And if they played very hard and cared a lot, I immediately think, what a stud. <laughs> he can be 50 pounds overweight, but all I can think about is the size of his heart when he was 22 years old. But on occasion, a former player will come by, and my first thought is, there's old softy. <laughs> I may like him a lot, but I can't change my memory. In the case of Wade, Becky, and Todd, I can guarantee you that no one ever thought they were soft. Instead, every coach, every teammate, or anyone who ever played against them would say, what a tough, tough competitor. The fourth distinctive is they were coachable. They had great success, but they were humble. This is hard to do. Plato said almost 2,500 years ago that you can learn more about a person in an hour of play than a year of conversation. Any serious athlete or coach knows how true those words are. You really do see the best and the worst of yourself through competition. The great player is tempted to think too highly of himself, to think, to think he knows even more than he actually does. He or she can find it hard to take instruction or correction. But all three inductees have been described by their coaches as being very attentive and very coachable. In the words of James 1.19, they were quick to hear and slow to speak. In short, along with being great players, they were very coachable. The fifth distinctive is their faith. Yesterday, we had a lunch with the board of directors, and I just enjoyed hearing them talk. And I think Barry Corey had mentioned that they really didn't talk about their playing success. They just talked about their lives and their faith in God and how important their Christian character has been in these years and raising their families and all the things they've been through. All three of them have faced some very difficult challenges during the past 25 years. And what has sustained them was their strong faith in God and a desire to influence others. This concern for others is evident through their involvement with different ministries. Wade and his wife, Erin, have consistently been involved with couples ministries and teaching children's classes at their church. Wade has also worked with men's ministry and did some missions work in the Philippines. Becky has served full-time for 15 years in women's ministries at the Grove Community Church and has been the director of women and parent-child ministries at Forest Home. She also has a speaking ministry and has authored a book. Todd has been involved with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes for many years, serving as the St. Louis chapter president on two different occasions. He currently works with the Pro Ministry Division, and his wife, Jamie, works with the FCA Women's Ministry. As a couple, they have also enjoyed discipling young married couples. Finally, the, the final commonality is the appreciation and the respect that we, as a department and as a university, feel for all three of you. I've been able to spend a number of hours with them yesterday, so I, I think that's been conveyed, but I, I want to convey that in a public setting that we, we really appreciate them. Not just what they did, of course, but just what their lives represent. And, and so we, we just think they're great people, along with being, having been great athletes. They represent the very best of what our department desires to accomplish. It is our great honor tonight to welcome you into the Biola Athletic Hall of Fame. And as our first inductees, you will hold a special place in what will certainly become a very select group of people.